Okay, as you guys can see, this is a good old fashioned, an old compact Armada. This thing runs off of a Pentium 3 processor. It's not even a gig, if I'm mis not mistaken. It's just running off of of a very old processor, and I think it's got like 384 gigs of, uh, megs of RAM. It's not much, to be honest. I've already loaded it, and with an Arch Linux, you could use other operating systems like Debian. You could probably do Fedora, but that's not something I think would work very well. And Ubuntu is definitely a forget, at least in its current incarnations. Maybe the X Ubuntu, but definitely not the original, definitely not the KDE version. So let's see what's going on there. I've already set up the operating system. This time it's the Arch Linux, like I said. And we're going to see it boot up. Okay, as you can see, went from grub and now it's a loading. That's some major setups there. And it's up it's booting up, it's booting up. Oops, something fell and it didn't even notice what it was. I'll worry about it later. It's probably a little setup I've been working on there. Haven't got all the kinks out, but I've set up something here. Uh, I used the slim one. That's why it's pretty minimalistic. Not perfect, but obviously... I like it. kind of like the look. It's Fluxbox that I'm using as the Windows Manager. And I've set up some stuff there, like... Console... A-Term. That's why it can do the print transparency thing. But it's fake transparency, as you'll notice. I'll show you what happens when I displace it. You see how it doesn't change with it? Yeah. Well, it's still pretty inter impressive. I think it's the video card that makes it like that. I'm not sure, to be honest, at this point. But it's still very nice. I've got a. I've added a web browser. Slow the load. Nobody. Nobody will claim that this was perfect. Sorry, I thought I forgot something there. Okay. And as you can see, this is what's called a Midori web browser. I decided to use this one. I also have Firefox on here, by the way, but I decided to put this one as the predominant. For a simple reason, I'm going to make a quick display. Well, maybe not too quick there, but at least let's see what I can get. Oh, we got a few things going on. Hmm. Nexus one Google phone. Why not turn it on? I tried it off Firefox, it's choppy. But on Midori, it works pretty decently, at least so far. Let's see what it's not perfect, but it's I find it barely shows.
Celui-ci. I'll worry about it later. So far, we've got that. I've got an MP3 player as well. Audacious. Pretty much a Windamp clone, I guess you could call it. Sorry, it's over. There we go. So as you can see, pretty old laptop. Still capable of doing the basics that we will, we need in today's computer world, internet world. So this is mostly a demonstration that shows what can be done with old hardware. I'm not, I, I imagine most of you guys have something a lot more powerful than this, and quite frankly I do have more powerful than this too. Uh, but it's nice to be able to show that you don't need a lot of power to do stuff, but it's still nice to have more power because quite frankly if you've noticed anything I'll try and see image viewer. I don't think I have any. I don't think I have any images on it. You can hear the the hard drive grinding. It's not fun, but this gives you a, a belief that you can actually do stuff with some old hardware, and that's the important thing. Uh, this will probably end up in the hands of somebody. I'm gonna give it to you uh, because at least. Uh, at least it can be used for somebody who can't afford one right now. And that's it. So, hope you enjoyed it. I will be trying to make some more videos in the near future. And hopefully something a little bit more interesting. But in the meantime, hope you find this enjoyable. Thank you. Bye.